Hello and welcome to Skyhawk Field on the campus of Stonehill College for today's season finale. It is a Northeast Conference matchup. The Fairleigh Dickinson University Knights have a chance to clinch at least a share of the NEC regular season title. They will take on perhaps the hottest team in the Northeast Conference, the Stonehill College Skyhawks. They have won their last two including on Senior Day on Sunday against the St. Francis Brooklyn Terriers, also against Howard this past Thursday. FDU is winless in their last two. They dropped a 1-0 decision to the Merrimack Warriors, and they drew against Central Connecticut. I'm Matt Nelson bringing you all the action high above the grass here on a beautiful afternoon here in southeastern Massachusetts. 67 degrees at the kick of this one. Back to back one nil decisions for the Skyhawks. Hannah Wilden and Peyton Nickerson getting the game-winning goals in the Skyhawks' first-ever Division I victories. Out to the outside, FDU with an opportunity here. This is Emma Slade in the middle. Slade launches one and a little bit dangerous for FDU, but it goes above the crossbar. Quick restart for the Knights. Dumeresque scrapping for, looking for the holding call. Out is Hannah Anselmo. Anselmo cutting back and forth. She gets pushed off. Her cross is broken up as Anselmo got taken down behind the ball. Now another long one sent in on the FDU goalkeeper. And she makes the easy stop. Melina Nielsen, the netminder for the Knights today. Copley for the Skyhawks after getting the victory here on Sunday. Curly Schultz up front wearing number 21 today for Stonehill. Skyhawks have a throw in and they Get it to Lauren Clement before the Knights take it back. Good through ball, but the first one there is Yara Fawaz. Fawaz trying to edge off Francisca Theus. And offsides is the call against Theus. The Skyhawks will have the free kick. Strong breeze today here in Easton. For Waz trying to step off, step up on it. It is Theus getting there first, but knocking it out of play into the Stonehill bench. For Waz, the throw in. Trying to get it to Schultz. She's able to keep it in and sending it to the Knights back line and Mona Schlegel. Wow, 
Oz chips it back to the middle of the field. That's where you can see the wind come into play. Top six in the NEC have already clinched their trips to the NEC tournament. Central Connecticut atop the conference, 6-0-2 within the NEC. They're 8-5-2 overall. Merrimack having a good season, 6-2-1 in conference, 8-7-3 overall. Sacred Heart, 5-1-3 in the NEC, 9-5-4 overall. And we have these Knights 5-1 and 2 in conference, 6-9 and 2 overall. St. Francis of Pennsylvania is 5-2 and 1-7, 8-1 overall. And as mentioned, FDU can clinch a share of the regular season crown by getting to their sixth win today. Seven twenty-five into the first half, FDU up one nil, pressuring constantly. Now the Knights have it in the middle, turning on it he is number twenty-five, Helena Lair. Knights throwing from the far side. Now the cross in is broken up. Looked like Schultz was there. Leanne Caffel is pickpocketed by Fawaz and she chips it out of play for the Knights throwing. Waz now in Selmo. Selmo up the near sideline. Forcing it to Clement. Now Schultz trying to track it down. It is instead Schlegel sending it back to the goaltender, Melina Nielsen. to throw it in and Selmo gets run into and it'll be a Knights throwing. Knights up the far side now. Ruffs letting a lot go in the early goings of this match. Across the 10 minute mark, Fawaz trying to work around Schlegel. Rather, that was Francisca Theus. Big international contingent on this FDU roster. Chipped in on Copley. She makes the easy stop. A handful of players from Germany. Two from Denmark. Madrid, Spain.
Norway, England, and Canada all represented on this night's roster. Last game of the regular season for the Skyhawks. And chipped up, hoping for some wind assistance. Voaz gets there first. Anselmo pushed again. Unfortunate first touch for Dumaresk sends the ball out of play. Knight's throwing. Now it's Clement up to Schultz. Rather, that was Dumaresk with the pass. Now Anselmo. Anselmo, more contact, gets pushed out of play. And it'll be a Knight's throwing. Theus. Took a feet up high, and now a push called on Hannah and Somo for the first time this game will lead to a Skyhawks free kick as the gusts of wind kick up. It is blowing across the field. Dumrask lining it up. Grace Casso is there too. Casso will put it in play. And there is a stoppage. In the middle of the battlefield there on the top end of the goalie box. Ref sorts it out. Casso's free kick. Right on. And Nilsson makes the stop. Rebound shot blocked away. Now it's Fawaz. Kitty Ward in the middle. One touch back to Caffel. Just over the jumping head of Schultz at midfield. The Knights right back the other way. Schultz out to Anselmo on the near side wing. Just trying the through ball back for Schultz. First one there was Caffel. Sent out at midfield for another night's throw-in. And Selmo chips back for Slade in the middle. Boaz with a good first touch. Now it's Dumaresk.
think it'll turn into a Skyhawk free kick on the far side. And we'll say throw in another push. Goes uncalled. Now back to Nielsen. Was a good first touch. Schultz towards the middle looking for Clement. She gets edged off. Now good through ball might be just too far ahead. It's a good diving play by Copley, but she is now caught out of position. Theus on the opportunity. She is questioning why there is no call. Approaching the 18th minute here in the first half. FDU up 1-0. Copley comes diving out again. An empty net. And offsides. One ref said offsides, the other said corner kick. The corner kick's going to win out. FDU with their first such opportunity today. Headed immediately out by... That was Peyton Nickerson. Over the end line, so FDU with another opportunity. This one placed in the back of the box. Another Skyhawk head first to touch it loose and clear it out. And now the ref gonna say a penalty shot if I'm reading that correctly. Knight was tripped in the box, so we have the game's first penalty kick. Aitana Martinez Montoya to take it. Copley got her hands on it, but too much heat on it, and it is an FDU goal. Montoya, that is her team leading 11th goal of the season. Good for her 23rd point. And the Skyhawks down 2-0, approaching the 19th minute. Fawaz slowing it down. Finds Anselmo right at midfield. The ball looking for Dumaresk up the near wing. Defender wins the race and knocks it out of play. It'll be a Stonehill throw in. up by Anselmo, but it deflects out of play. Now the push called on Nickerson. Free kick for the Knights, just outside of the midfield. by Nickerson. Good 
after well for Anselmo, and she gets edged off the route by Nina Carla Musto. Megan Lord into the game, replacing Carly Schultz up front. Fawaz will throw it in now for Stonehill. Selmo taking all sorts of contact. Dumaresk will throw it in. She finds Yara Fawaz. And the Knights promptly take over. Good step now on the far side. Pass a little bit too far ahead on the far wing of Clement. Dumaresk to Anselmo in the middle, back to Dumaresk. Anselmo with an opening, she gets around four Knights and scores! Hannah Anselmo! Cuts the deficit in half. And we should see that on the NEC 9 next week. She broke out of five night defenders in that area. Right at the top of the goalie box and launched one past Nielsen for the score. So it is Anselmo from Emmy Dumaresk. The Knights with the ensuing possession. Naomi Hausen trying to work it in. A lot of contact and not one call. As getting tied up in the middle of the field was Megan Lord. Back to the goaltender Nielsen who has a tricky bounce with it. Back to Fawaz at midfield. Good first touch to immediately settle it down. Fawaz deep throwing, finds Anselmo who has it hop over her head and the Knights back line takes over. 24th minute. Two to one, the Knights have the lead. Skyhawks have the momentum after Anselmo's goal of the year candidate. Grace Castle on the far side. Nielsen perfectly content to hold out.
Waz guides it out of bounds, immediately throws it back in, looking for Dumaresk on the near wing. Dumaresk breaks away, but cleared out by Mona Schlegel. Looking for the through ball to Lord. Didn't have enough heat on it. It's Elmo, another very athletic move to keep possession for the Skyhawks. Quaz's deep throw to the middle. And the trip committed. Dominic Liberto will be coming in for FDU. I'll take the free kick. Probably about 25 yards out from net. To the middle, Lord quickly closing. Now in Selma closing. And it is sent over the top where Copley gives it a warm welcome off a of bounce. 26 and a half minutes in. Good bounce and a nice move by Anselmo to find Dumaresk in. Dumaresk slow chip is handled by Nielsen on the dive. Good idea by Dumaresk. She didn't have Another second to shoot before the defender was there to clear the ball away. Turning into a pretty decent scoring chance for the Skyhawks. Long one up the sideline will go out of play and a night throw in. Liberto comes in for Francisca Theus up front. Just out of reach of the outstretched Lord. But she's scrapping with two Knights and gains possession back. Right at midfield, now Fawaz steps up for the next layer. Knights come away with the turnover now. That was the goal scorer. Victana Martinez Montoya trying to sneak in behind the Skyhawks defense. Dumaresk. Gets ripped down by Caffel, and that will give the Skyhawks a free kick right at midfield. Dumaresk chipped off a defender. Ian Caffel towards midfield off of Aitana Montoya for his quick restart. FDU clears it over the top. Peyton Nickerson turning on the Jets and will send it back to Copley who gets it to Fouaz. Montoya was pressuring. More contact, another Skyhawk down, and I guess the call there must have been advantage in play. Sent all the way over the top. Nielsen now in Selmo trying to catch the goaltender out of position and clearing it over the top of the goal. And Selmo had the opportunity. She didn't get it quite enough over Nielsen and then Clement was there for the second chance.
Nielsen will take the ensuing goal kick as the Knights breathe a sigh of relief. Fawaz, good step. Now off the outside of her boot to Lord, trying to feed Anselmo. She does hit Anselmo, and again, she gets bumped off. Fires a shot that was handled by Nielsen. Good step by Dumarest to pickpocket. Kill me, Looper on. Now Clement shot another good save by Nielsen. Follow-up chance is on top of the net. The Skyhawk fans thought it might have been in. Stonehill ramping up the pressure the last couple of minutes. They've had a couple of golden scoring opportunities. Nielsen has been able to answer. Dumeras towards the middle looking for Lord too far ahead of her. Second minute quickly approaching. Score still two to one. Entertaining one shaping up here at Skyhawk Field. Was working against Liberto. Liberto in. Fires a shot, Nickerson deflected it. And then Selmo chips to Dumarest for the give and go and winning the race there was Schlegel. Dumarest back for Lord. And Nickerson chips it over the top. That will be out of play. And tonight thrown in front of their own bench. Lord breaks away. Feeds the middle looking for Clement. And FDU has to clear it out. Good step by Fawaz. And the Knights able to clear it back across midfield. Dumaresk, a nice move. Looking for Anselmo and or Clement in the middle. Nielsen comes sprinting out to clear it back to half. Lord Shielding able to create an opening for Dumarest to come away with the ball. And now it's Clement in. Clement in a loader shot. He's in on the far side. The Skyhawks tie it up in the 34th minute. Lauren Clement with the equalizer. Dumaresk telling her second assist on the day. <laughs> two to two. 34th minute.
Now contact in the middle, and the ref waves it off. The age-old adagi of playing to the whistle. Everybody was looking for the call, and the ball stayed loose. And Selmo in the middle. Good slide there to set up an offensive attack for the Knights. But Luperon's pass just out of reach. And it turns into a goal kick for Copley. Long shot will go wide right. No harm, no foul. And it will be a goal kick for the Skyhawks. To the far side, Clement setting up another Skyhawk attack. Trying to turn the corner. And it was broken up by the back line of the Knights. Fawaz comes up with a turnover. She is hand fighting with Cachutolo and then a call against the Knights. The sarcastic cheer from the Skyhawk fans in attendance. You know, Wilden will take the free kick, the game winning goal scorer on Sunday afternoon. Nicely placed ball, and the Knights able to clear out. Opportunity for FDU here. The cross is loose. Copley got a piece of it. Kind of sneaking behind the Skyhawks midfielders setting up the opening and then Fawaz comes up with a block shot. After you trying to set up an offensive opportunity here. Long shot, punched out by Copley and it'll be a corner kick from the far side. Headed up and out of play, we'll do it again. That it looked like Wielden might have gotten the head on that. Now Clement trying to create the turnover. Dumaras chases it down and knocks it out of play. A couple of substitutions. Plain Lear in for the Knights and Abby Murphy for the Skyhawks. Throwing this time is taken by FDU, cleared out of play by Nickerson. He'll do it again about five yards upfield. A free kick for FDU here. Fawaz called for the push. Kara Fawaz pleading her case that 
It's been that level of contact all game. Free kick, almost a corner kick, placed into the box and no Knight able to get a clear shot off. That one blocked aside. And then Copley comes out. Stepped out of bounds, so it'll be a corner kick, this time from the near side. Great stop that time by Copley diving and punching it out. We'll do it again from the far side. Fortieth minute, fourth consecutive corner kick is out the other side. And the ref says it's off of Stonehill. So the fourth consecutive corner kick for FDU, this time from the near side. This one is on top of the box and now a goal kick. Forty-first minute of an exciting first half. Two to two, we are all tied up. Clement and Anselmo, the Skyhawk goal scorers. Leah Agner and Aitana Martinez Montoya, the night goal scorers. Do you pressuring, cutting towards the middle where Lord comes away with it. Now Dumaresk chips it out of play just inside midfield. After you throwing it back in with some desperation now. Throw in. Taken by Leanne Koffel. Foot race towards the middle, won by the Knights. And it was number 11 for Stonehill making the defensive stop, Bella McNeil. Uh, deflecting it out of play was McNeil for yet another FDU corner kick. The outward bend is deflected. I don't think Copley got a piece of it. It was off the head of one of the Knights, so it'll be a goal kick for Stonehill now with 145 remaining in the half. Out of play off of Stonehill. The night thrown from the far side of midfield with about a minute to go in the half. Back to Nielsen. A couple of pins fall, no trip call. Dumaresk looking for a good touch to find Clement.
Now Lupero. Far side, good touch, through ball, shot, and a goal. Unless they're calling off sides. Atana Martinez Montoya credited for her second goal. Questionable non offsides call. A lot of confusion. Even FDU thought they were offsides. They did not immediately celebrate that goal. About 20 seconds remaining. Copley comes charging out now with. 10 seconds. And it is halftime. We are closer than it would have seemed early on. Three to two is the score. Clement and Anselmo getting the Skyhawks back. They were tied at two for. Hello and welcome back into Skyhawk Field on the campus of Stonehill College for second half action between the Fairleigh Dickinson University Knights and your Stonehill College Skyhawks. Once again, I am Matt Nelson bringing you all the action high above a windy Skyhawk field here in Easton. The breeze has been consistent from the far side of the field towards the near side wing. Other than that, it's pretty nice at about 65 degrees now in the second half. The score is three to two. FDU is on top due to that last second goal that everybody on the field thought was offsides, except the refs. Two goal scorers for Stonehill. Lauren Clement and Hannah Anselmo. Anselmo's goal was a clear goal of the year candidate for the Northeast Conference, breaking through five night defenders and firing one past the FDU goalkeeper, Nielsen. Atana Martinez Montoya for FDU has two goals. And Leah Egner has the other night tally. Sent out by the Knights and Selmo doing great defensive work on the sideline. Dickerson chips over the top looking to feed Clements. Knights back the other way. It is Egner cutting back towards the middle. Egner launching one far side post. It will go wide left. Whopping nine corner kicks for FDU in the first half. The Skyhawks did not have a corner attempt. Seven shots on goal for each side. 13 shots total for FDU. Nine for the Skyhawks. Five fouls called on FDU. Four for Stonehill. Out of play right in front of the official on the near sideline. The Skyhawk throwing. Opportunity here for Martoya Martinez. 
And Nickerson deflects it out. Martinez Montoya, the sophomore from Fuenlabrada, Madrid, Spain. It's been causing all sorts of havoc for the Knights offensively. Number 26 will take the corner kick. That's Egner. Places it nicely into the box and is headed up and over the crossbar. His contact was made with Copley. And it turns into a goal kick for Stonehill. You taking possession right back. This is Egner. Chipped nicely by Ward. Her cross is stopped by Copley. Nickerson went diving over the Skyhawk goalie. Last match of the season for the Skyhawks. Of course, not eligible for the NEC tournament. FDU will be making an appearance in the conference tourney. <coughs> go, Clement working against three Knights, almost coming away with possession. Still pressuring, and FDU has to send it back to the goaltender, Nielsen. <laughs> Opportunity for Dumaresk in the middle. Nice touch to feed Anselmo. Her shot is saved by Nielsen. And she grabs the rebound off the bounce. Coach Alex Wilson looking up towards the high heavens after that opportunity. Thinking that was the one that the Skyhawks would break through and tie it up once again. Another good opportunity for the Skyhawks. Egner's through ball. Went off of the hip of Martinez Montoya. Now it's Ward. Martinez Montoya. Looking to send one into the goalie's box. Copley dives on it. Everybody clears out. Don't know with the end zone shots on goal. They've had eight to this point. Sent back Nickerson. The name of the game today for Stonehill has been Feed the rock to Hannah Anselmo. Once she flipped to the middle, 
It's been a constant Skyhawk offensive attack. Looking for the hold and it will be out of play off of FDU. Corner kick coming from the far side. Nickerson's gonna move up to take it. Coming it outward, it bounces back to Nickerson. She launches and will have a little bit too much on it wide left. Slow breakout for the Knights. Now getting it to the far side wing. Was the defensive play there. Sent into the box and headed promptly by Bella McNeil. <coughs> Shot stopped by Copley, no rebound. And Selmo getting her cleat up high. And she's jogging very tenderly down the sideline. Might be a little bit winded. Now it's Megan Lord. She gets it back to Anselmo. Anselmo gets it back and then it is cleared out of play and will be a corner kick. Now it's Slade to take the corner. Placed nicely into the back of the box, punched by Nielsen, and the rebound is headed down and out of play. Fawaz will take the throw far side. 57th minute of action. Still a one goal differential. And Selmo makes a nice move. The one touch chip pass and then she is called for the offensive foul. Free kick for the Knights. Sun beginning to set here in Easton. The left side of the field, in your view, covered in shadows. Agner cutting back towards the middle. She launches, and Copley makes the save. Selmo, another great first touch to tap it down to Lord. Now McNeil trying to find Clement. Opportunity, goalie down, the shot, and a goal! Looked like Clement. Emmy Dumaresk adds her third point of the day. All tied up, Dumaresk 
created the turnover. The defender for the Knights going down and then stutter step Nielsen. We are all knotted up, three goals apiece. So Dumeresk with the goal now and two assists, having a boot in all three Skyhawks tallies today. Clement tried to make the nice move and tap it down from about her shoulder height now trying to turn on the Jets and a push called on Fairly Dickinson. Wilden will take the free kick. Looking for Anselmo, it's loose, and Nielsen able to clear it out. Egner working against Wielden. Sends it to the middle. Now Lord comes up with the defensive turnover. Missed touch by McNeil. Well, was Egner. Goal kick for the Skyhawks. Sixty first minute or a free kick from the far side. Wilden over there to take it. Good step in the middle now. It's Lord. Lord off the far sideline. It's a foot race. FDU sends it back to their goaltender, but a sketchy situation for her. She had to quickly clear back to midfield as approaching was Anselmo. Well, the Clement got tripped up. Down Lord. Deflects off of one of the Knights looking for Clement. This one will be too far ahead. For Helena Lear out of play. Skyhawk throwing. Lear, good touch to the middle for Lena Dimberger. Clement misstepped and then gets called for the push. person Skyhawk wall this one sent in directly on Copley and she came charging out to make the stop and now trying to set up a quick Stonehill offensive attack and Selmo in the middle 
Through to Clement with a highway of space in front of her. Lauren Clement, in she goes, stutter stepping, trying to shake one defender. Her shot is deflected wide to the left. Quickly running out of space was Clement. Across the 63 minute mark. All knotted up, three goals apiece. Nickerson gets in the way of that through ball. Dumarusk run into. McNeil to midfield. Clement, a good touch. There's a night slow to get up. Just outside midfield. Testing out her right leg, looks like. And then Anselmo taken down. Again, no call. Wind taking that one away from the boot of the Skyhawks. Wilden's throwing deep, looking for Clement. Clement able to keep it in on the end line, now looking to feed in Selma. Great play by Lauren Clement. And there is a knight down, the one that went up against Clement. That looks to be number 21, Chloe Stevens. And Selma in the middle, she gets run into. And the clock stops here to attend to the injured Helena Lair. Or rather, that's uh, number 20, Paula Roos. So we get an injury timeout in the 65th minute. We are all tied up, and we will be back right after this. You're watching Stonehill Women's Soccer on Skyhawk Vision and NEC Front Row. Casey Dorney again gives Wagner their first lead of the contest. And the Pioneers are your 2021 NEC champs. The LIU Sharks are your 2022 Northeast Conference Baseball Champions. She did not miss that time. Olivia Eula has given St. Francis a big lead now at 6-1. Here comes Wilcox on the run, one on three. Oh, takes whoa, it to the hole. Whoa, Nearly whoa, blocked whoa. by the rim, but he finishes with the whoa. flourish. Up the middle of the end zone, it's caught. Touchdown, Merrimack with an answer. Big time throw from Zergi Otis. Angie Raptor caps it off with a 5K victory. Stanley against Bergdahl. Spinning oh. down. Wow. The injury substitution is Andrea Ogard, the freshman from Roskilde, Denmark. This will be a corner kick, uh, a goal kick rather for Stonehill. 
Nickerson shielding that one out of play. McNeil looking for Clement. It's intercepted by Lair. Now a handball that goes uncalled. FTU has the throw in. Long cross slicing across the box. Fawaz in the area for the Skyhawks. Good ball in the middle, there's an opportunity and blocked and then Copley able to reach out and dive on the ball that was spinning away from her. That was Andrea Ogard, fresh into the game with the offensive opportunity for FDU. Great stop by Copley. And Selmo a creative header off the back of her head to try to get it to Clement. Lord gets taken down, another no call. McNeil gets tied up with Ogard. Ogard working against her number sake, McNeil for Stonehill. McNeil wins that battle. Opportunity, Clement calling for it. Good through ball, finds Lauren Clement. Her cross to the middle for Anselmo. Anselmo gets taken down. And that should be a penalty shot. It's in the box. It will be a penalty kick. Lauren Clement. Lauren Clement will take the kick for the Skyhawks. Clement moves in, shoots, and scores. Stonehill's got the lead. Off of a little bit of irony, a call by the official that led to a penalty kick for Stonehill. They lead it 4-3. to three. Clement has her second on the day. High scoring one here at Skyhawk Field today. Four to three, seven goals put up by these two NEC conference rivals. Skyhawks have the better of it now. Lauren Clement, two goals to go along with Anselmo's tally and Emmy Dumaresk's goal. Now it's Ogard moving in her cross. Cleared out by Yara Fawaz. Looper on back into the game for FDU. Quick throw in for the Knights. Towing the line dangerously on that throwing attempt was Mona Schlegel. Fawaz, good step to get it to Lord, who's through pass looking for Anselmo didn't connect I 
Knight throwing from the far sideline now. Ogard lost her footing. McNeil chases it down, but Shields out of play for the Skyhawks throw, and Clement has it go off the bottom of her cleat, and now FDU has a throw in front of their own bench. McNeil out of play off of Lair. Ogard looking for the cross. Lord, good step, but she got run into. Now Anselmo taken down from behind. Ogard in the middle to the outside for Luperon. Looper on cross. Fawaz got pushed down. That'll be a Stonehill free kick. Selmo in the middle. Lord, a nice takeaway. to you on the far sideline able to possess it's thrown on the far sideline was defending in the corner Cross bounces in on Copley. No harm, no foul. She makes the easy st stop and will clear back to midfield. Oh, and catching one of the Knights up in the neck. And now Anselmo, a nice first touch to get it to Copley. Or rather, Clement. Clement trying to get behind Schlegel, the defender, and it will be a Skyhawk corner kick. Slade will take it. Slade's ball, back of the box. Dickerson gets her head on it. Might have gone off of the outside of the post. The Skyhawks looking to set up. Looper on trying to create some offensive pressure for the Knights. Cleared out of play. They'll have a throw in with 15 minutes remaining. Dominique Liberto will come in for the Knights at their next stoppage. Yeah. 
Egner in the middle. Another push goes uncalled. Loop runs. Shot blocked away. An opportunity. Staunch defense by Stonehill. Now Nickerson comes up with a blocked shot. Not out of the woods yet. Clement clears it into the FDU bench. And now the sub. Dominic Liberto comes in. She replaces Cacciatolo. Long throw in Selmo. Got it off of her head. McNeil. Back and forth go the throw-ins. 76th minute. Clock st stopped for some reason. Looking for Dumaresk in the middle, just past her outstretched leg. Nielsen, her free kick to midfield was taken by Lord. She'll now pick it up with Clement closing in on her. Looper on. Closing in on the box, her cross. Martinez Montoya was there looking to get a boot on it. Cleared out, another corner for the Knights. It'll be a throw and not a corner. Luperon's cross this time, headed by Nickerson and cleared out by Clement. FDU has had 11 corner attempts. 11 shots on goal. Skyhawks with 10. McNeil, a nice touch to clear it back out of immediate danger. Now back towards midfield. Abby Murphy comes back in for Stonehill. Paula Roos back in for the Knights. Anselmo gets the breather. Now Stonehill will switch to a more defensive-minded set. Fawaz shielding as time starts to bleed off the clock. We are in the 79th minute. Back to Nielsen, she chips it back to midfield. Good touch now, Clement blasts it back to the FDU side of the field.
Hinaguini, the senior back, is going to come in. It'll be the 12th corner kick of the day for Fairley Dickinson. Comes in the 80th minute. Egner will take it. And she puts it immediately out of play on top of the goal. So in comes Guidi. It will be Emma Slade coming to the bench for Stonehill. Another good stop by Copley. Fairly Dickinson would need a little bit of help to get a share of the conference crown. They would need Central Connecticut to lose. FDU needs to come back and win this one. Stonehill doing their best to play a spoiler. Copley comes charging out and dives on that one as well. And Copley might have been inadvertently kicked and she is a little bit slow to get up. Clock stops with 82-13. Free kick. Ref bounces it back into play. Now over the back as Clement was run over by Paula Roos. Luperon may have been a half step or two off sides. It will result in another corner kick. Agner to take it. Clear it in and a goal line stand. As there was a couple of bodies down in the box. And that was Bella McNeil with the defensive play of the game. Clement now pops it over the top. FDU starting to enter desperation mode. Six and a half minutes remain. Slade's going to come back in. Megan Lord will come out as the defensive shift continues for Alex Wilson Skyhawks <laughs> through ball Skyhawks not looking to end the offensive party here Go, 
Opportunity Clement trying to fire off a shot. FDU able to clear before she was able to. Five minutes remain. Over the top for Egner. Egner shot deflected. Opportunity is deflected again and it will be a fairly Dickinson throw in. Clement clears it out. Now approaching the 86th minute. Lair and her throw in goes straight to a Skyhawk who clears it across midfield. The goaltender Nielsen all the way up. McNeil deflects this one off of the boot of Paula Roos for another corner kick. Egner will take it once again to bend it out. This one sent well over the top of the goal. Nielsen has been Commanding the defensive line at the 50 yard line. All the way out of her net. Back to Nielsen. Down in the wrong end of the field for the Knights with two minutes and 45 seconds remaining. Four to three. Clement with the difference right now. That came on the penalty kick. Short two minutes remain. Nielsen will take the free kick. Clement gets contacted and again, no call. She got running too hard from behind. 90 seconds remain. Stonehill just sending it back to the wrong end of the field for FDU's comeback attempt. Another goal kick. We are in the final minute. This one sent up and out of play. It'll be a Stonehill throwing. Now with 45. So back to midfield now with 30. Another Stonehill throw in. 20. 
Skyhawks are in good shape to end the season on a three-game NEC conference win streak. They will. We have hit the end of the game and the end of the season. Stonehill College has defeated 